So now we're gonna get into drill number three and we're gonna start working on our lower half, okay? So in the lower half, you do two things. Is you drive with that back knee and then you rotate to get the proper rotation to allow your hands to work inside the mm -hmm. ball, right? So drill number three is called weight shifts. So we're gonna focus on how to load our weight on this back leg and drive and get all of our momentum going back through the ball. Weight shift a lot of times is what's gonna help you get the ball in the air. We right. wanna, I mean, if you want the ball to go up, power's gotta come from underneath. So the first thing that has to fire is the most powerful thing, which is connected to the ground. That knee yeah. has to fire to the pitcher. So all we're doing here is a loose movement, letting that knee go. Yep. We don't wanna feel any tension. We wanna feel the knee fire up through the ball first so our hands can go through. A lot of folks don't understand that the lower half is helping your hands get in a better position. Correct. As he drives his knee here, you're gonna see his hands stay nice and loose and naturally kind of turn to go the right direction. It's not a big move with your hands. It's just the fact that you're driving your knee. That's what your body naturally exactly. does. And weight, the weight shift in the swing is so important because if you don't have weight shift, that's where you're going to see yourself just spinning off the ground. Right. right. You're going to get gonna a lot of balls foul. Ball. Exactly. A lot of balls off the end of the bat because yep. you didn't have that extra momentum to get to out drive there through, through that, that ball. ball. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So the players that have a hard time with their weight shift just spin off the ball and their bats are in and out of the zone Real quick. right away. Yeah. Exactly. So with this drill, all we're going to do is we're going to get in a nice comfortable stance, a little bit like shorter width apart, half flat, we're going to bend our knees a little bit. And what we're going to do with top hand open still, is we're going to load our weight back on this back leg. And then I, once I do that, I want to see how hard I can drive this knee up through the zone to get my momentum going back through the ball, yeah. okay? And once I make contact with this ball, I'm gonna continue my walk towards the pitcher because I don't want to stop my momentum going through the ball. Right. If I get up here and I'm falling back, my, all my momentum is going backwards at that point, all right? Yeah. So we wanna drive through it and continue the walk. So we stay nice, loose, and relax. We get a load and then we fire. Nice. Just like that. And as a coach, while you're watching this drill, you want to see the player drive their knee first and then the hands start to the ball. A lot of folks get confused. They think they see you drive the knee, drive the knee. They think you got to get your knee way up here before your hands go through. That's not going to happen. Yep. We have to think, get the knee all the way to the top so we make sure it goes first. Exactly. If you think fire my knee all the way up before my hands go through, you're going to be a whole lot more apt to get your knee going first, which is what you want in the full swing. Exactly. And that's the thing is, when I'm doing this lower half drill, I'm not focused about my hands at right. all. I'm worried about driving this knee up first and then the hands fall. Yeah, if you've done the one-hander and the two-hander, like the videos prior to this, your hands should somewhat Correct. be working in a good straight line. Yep. So the looser I can be and just focus on that knee drive, drive it up. it's gonna cause you to swing the bat. Yep. You're not gonna forget to swing. So we stay nice, loose, and relax. We get a load and then we fire. Nice. Just like that. And as a coach, while you're watching this drill, you want to see the player drive their knee first and then the hands start to the ball. A lot of folks get confused. They think they see you drive the knee, drive the knee. They think you got to get your knee way up here before your hands go through. That's not going to happen. Yep. We have to think, get the knee all the way to the top so we make sure it goes first. Exactly. If you think fire my knee all the way up before my hands go through, you're going to be a whole lot more apt to get your knee going first, which is what you want in the full swing. Exactly. And that's the thing is, when I'm doing this lower half drill, I'm not focused about my hands at right. all. I'm worried about driving this knee up first and then the hands fall. Yeah, if you've done the one-hander and the two-hander, like the videos prior to this, your hands should somewhat Correct. be working in a good straight line. Yep. So the looser I can be and just focus on that knee drive, drive it up. it's going to cause you to swing the bat. Yep. You're not going to forget to swing. And as Frank used to tell me all the time, he's looking for the, the seam of my pants to be facing him right here exactly. before the hands come through. Yep. So that was his indicator. It wasn't that my knee was all the way up. Right. It was, where's the seam of my pants? The knee up's just the cue. Correct. It's the hitter's cue. That's, That's what I'm trying to feel is my yep. knee go up. That's going to cause that rotation in that lower half to get your hands in the right place. Exactly. So when we get here, it says nice, loose, relaxed. I'm going to load my weight and then just focus on how hard can I drive this knee first. And if, like that, if you have a ball going in the ground, all that is is your weight getting ahead of your body. Correct. We talk about ball going in the air. 
If you want the ball to go up, your weight's got to stay behind it. A lot of folks have that issue where they're out, over on all, their out on their front leg yep. and all their power's coming down. That's what this drill is going to help you fix is controlling that weight, keeping it back here and sending your momentum from the right place. If you're trying to send momentum from the front of your body, you're going to pull off, you're going to yep. roll over a lot, you're not going to be able to hit the ball in the air. Well, that's one of the biggest issues with this drill are kids are trying to use their hands exactly. instead of hit it with their lower half. Exactly. You just focus lower on that drill. lower half, exactly. it's going to cause you to stay in it. Better. And as you see, even during this drill, I'm staying inside the ball every time. Mm -hmm. And what allows me to do that is I'm firing this lower half first, I'm clearing my lower half, and it gets my body in a position to allow my hands to work inside that ball. It makes for ball. a freer swing. Exactly. This is going to feel more like a full swing. So if you're doing this drill and you're trying to finish here, well, that doesn't make sense in what a full swing is. The yep. only reason when our hand stops here is because all we're working is the hand. Exactly. Once we turn that lower half, our hands should be finishing more behind us. So yep. you see that loose, smooth finish all the way through, letting that back go all the way around. Yep. Clearing your front half or clearing your lower half so the back can get through to full extension. So last one. So we're gonna stay nice, loose, relax. L relax with the hands, top hand open. I'm gonna load my weight and fire my knee as hard as I can. Good ball. You see it's a line drive to the opposite field every time. 